local. We're using Doyle's at the minute for local security call outs. Alright, so we've got Champion CCTV services here. We are. And, and they're covering all of this building site. It is, yeah. Three all units. Right. All three units. So, where are your cameras then? We've got a oh, cabin up here. A cabin, yeah. Got some at gate here. Top corner down there. Right, so if you're coming to rob the place, this is where all cameras, cameras are. Got a <laughs> they won't get away with all. No, they won't get away with all. What's your name, my friend? Craig, Champion CCTV. Craig, Champion CCTV. And a very nice chap he is. He caught me changing my shoes. You'll take care of things. And you, mate. All right, mate. Have a good one. Where are you from, anyway? Wakefield. How are you? Big up Wakefield. All right, drive safely. See you later, Ted Army. Blimey, I mean, it's Tuesday today. It was Friday last day I was here. Um, and just look how this steel's gone up. Still too bloody windy for the drone, which is uh, annoying me like. But, uh, yeah. It's really, really going up this steel. And this is the uh, this is the building the other side. Apparently, these are the uh, steel erectors that are on more money than the others. They can't be far off finished here, really. I know they've got the side to put sides to put on for the cladding and things, but uh, they're really going for it. These two lads, they really are. And Queen's definitely looking well. There you go, look at that look. Right, let's go and have a look over at the other side then. See how they get in there. Really, really busy today. We've got, uh, got 360 loading a, a tipper up. Now, once again, notice how uh, the tipper driver's lifted his um, Lifted his tipper just a, a little bit. That's a, that allows the uh, the weigh mechanism in the lorry to tell him when he's got a maximum load on. So, I don't know what you can carry on this. Probably about 23, 24 ton. I'm asking. How much can you carry, mate? How much can you carry? How much? 23? 16 and a half. All right, okay. There you go, you can carry 16 and a half. Must be a bit smaller than some of others I've seen. They can carry a bit more. Now we've got little 360 there going mad. But these lads over here, they've been really, really going. They've got most of the uh, the sides on to put the put the cladding on and you've got nearly all the purlings on for the roof looking at it so they're doing really really well let's go and have a look a bit further around mate yeah oh yeah it does do, it? it's like nothing that's like when you do an house isn't it nothing yeah like, all of a sudden it looks like a... yeah i mean compared to last i mean yeah. i come down friday yeah. and they were doing well with this, but God, they're bloody flying up now, aren't they? Yeah. And same over the other side. Well, we think they're going to beat them on bigger units. You know? Yeah, but there's more of a map, isn't there? No, it's the same crew, two. Oh, two, right. two, two men. Two in a swing, yeah. Yeah. Two on. But they did start earlier. They started two days in the front, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because, like I say, when I come down last Tuesday, that crane was still parked here. Yeah. 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 I bet dogs love it when you fetch them on site, yeah, don't they? They do. They do. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. You can't understand it when I don't bring them. No, well, yeah. you know, I understand I've been that. bringing them to work for the last two or three years on and off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it looks like you've just had another two deliveries of steel. How many deliveries that of steel do you get? That come on yesterday afternoon, apparently. Oh, right. Yeah, I weren't here yesterday. All right. Back in Mansfield? No, I were on holiday. Holiday? I'm off away for a couple of days this week, that's why I'm down early. 
going to Scarborough, I think, for a couple of weeks, uh, a couple of days. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's just it's phenomenal how it's flying up, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. But uh, how many deliveries of steel do you get then? About one a day. Yeah, every one other one day. One every other day. I think. Every other day. Yeah, Simon would tell. Uh, not Simon. Aaron was telling me. Um, how much all this bloody steel costs and things. A lot of money, yeah. There's a lot of investors that have gone into, a lot of money gone into building these things, haven't they? Now then? I think so, yeah. Just apart from things like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they don't help, do they? Sometimes accidents happen, don't they? You what, sorry, mate? Sometimes accidents happen. Well, you know, it's... Long as been here, it's, it's, it's construction, isn't it? Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, Whereas coal mining used to be one of the most dangerous jobs, it's construction now, isn't it? Alright, so, another delivery of steel. Another few thousand pounds worth of steel there. It's phenomenal how much these, th these things cost. Well, we're back at uh, Meet the Builders. Now, it's a week since I've been here because uh, I wasn't very well last week and just look how this has changed the whole unit is up now or the whole framework is up all the steel is up the crane has gone and uh, it looks like the the bricklayers have started work right we're up at the site office at the moment so i've got a, an elevated picture of what's gone off here I was going to get the drone up, where I live there were no wind at all and it's blowing a bloody gale here again. All is a sad insane. Always windy here, I don't know why. But it uh, seems to whistle down this valley. Right, let's go and have a look at the other side. That other side has changed so much it's unreal. Let's go and have a quick shifty. So look at this, all the steel is up on this side, the steel erectors have gone and uh, it's just going to be a, a progression now on what comes next, I'm not sure what's next, I've just had a quick word with Simon and they said over the other side, the side we've just looked at, they're going to be pouring the concrete soon. So let's have a look further up, see what else we can see. Yeah. Here we go, we've got two builders here off the site. What's your names, lads? My name's Paul and I'm a shutter and joiner from Doncaster. <laughs> You're from Donny. What's your name? Frank. Frank? Frank. Yeah. F-R-A-N-K. Yeah, and where, where are you from, Frank? I'm from Right Corner. Right Corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, you <laughs> were laying, you were laying um, curbs the curbs yeah. other day when I come round, weren't you? 18-year-old ah, curb layer, isn't he? 18-year-old curb layer. That's yeah. it. Yes. You'll see that on a previous video, won't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a movie star already. Isn't he? Isn't he? Yeah. Already YouTube famous. All, all young ladies star. are after his phone number, you know. <laughs> They've already got it. They've already got yeah. it. Yeah. He's already handed it out, hasn't he? He's a well-known lad from Round Corner, he is. Oh, I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it? a shame there's no fucking, what's it called, post boxes round here, though, isn't it? <laughs> there's one, sorry. No, no telephone boxes. boxes. No telephone boxes. No telephone boxes. <laughs> no, not round here, mate. <laughs> not anymore, eh? They've all Where's got defibrillators in them, haven't they? Yeah, I need to get back anyway. You've got to go back, mate. All right. Right then, later. catch you later. See you later. So, like I said, it's Friday afternoon. Everybody's uh, going home early. It's Poets' Day. And if you don't know what Poets' Day is, it's piss off early tomorrow's Saturday. So, they've got all that steel up there. Apparently they've just got to take some bracing down. Uh, and then, what they're going to do is if we have a walk down here and have a look. They're making a start on the next one. And that's the last one that's going up on this, uh, this stretch of road here. This one's slightly smaller, I believe. So let's have a walk further around, see if we can see a bit more. So as you can see, they've got all the equipment all here ready. It's a crane ready and the, and the cherry pickers all ready to go. 
plenty of mud and slop dust in the middle, but we have had a lot of rain over the last few days. It's not been particularly good. And there's another view of the other one that they've already put up. So unfortunately, that's about it for this week. Due to uh, aforesaid illness and uh, razor blades and broken glass. But I shall be back on Monday afternoon. They've got a, a site meeting in the morning. They says come back in the afternoon and uh, Aaron can show me around. So just hoping for good weather. And if the weather's all right, we'll get it done. Anyway, that's about it for this week on the uh, Meet the Builder. We've not met many of them, but there you go. What can we do when you're branded? Or condemned, whichever way you want to put it. Anyway, let's crack on and we shall see you in the next video. Bye, everybody. See you soon.